road, Parker. All right, pitting out of 18th place position. This team's had incredible recovery from that penalty that they started the race with, had the drive through, went one lap down, got that back, and now they told Daniel just recently and he's being too nice to some of his competitors out there, giving too much room. It'll be four tires in Snoko Fuel as these green flag stops start to unfold for the leaders. This will give him a big advantage with those tires, hoping for, you know, no, no yellows to come out, catch him on pit road. He's going to make up a lot of time on these guys that are staying out on the racetrack for a lap or two. As, as we watch Kyle Busch uh, and, and Denny Hamlin here, Denny's run and caught him and then kind of fallen back into that rhythm. Denny may be thinking, I want my pit crew to pass him. You, you know what I mean? I want to make that move on pit road. I want to get in harder, make sure I stay under my limit because we know Denny's had a million pit road penalties this year. And, and it's always kind of edgy when he comes to pit road. But he's got an incredible pit crew. Calling for a pit stop right here. And did he smart enough to know that he doesn't need to show his full hand right now? 18 car. Fact. He's going to come to pit road. The 11 of Denny Hamlin stays on the racetrack. Marty. Kyle Busch coming down pit road. Joey Logano also coming down pit road. Probably a little bit earlier than a lot of these teams wanted to, Junior. But they're trying to jump and get new tires on, which are so fast here at Darlington. Logano lost all that track position from that bad stop earlier. Trying to make up some right here, Parker. All right, Marty. It seems like they may have started to be forced by what the 99 of Suarez coming down pit road there so early. The 18 was saying, I, your marks. And then on that lap down the back track said, all right, we're pitting this time. Remember, you get a little loose, so make an air pressure jump to the 18, Marty. Austin Dillon was desperate for a caution there, Parker, because he sat in the free pass spot for so long, but they were not able to get it parked way too tight on entry. You see Tyler Reddick on pit road. William Byron also on pit road has not said a word so far about the engine, but it does not sound full song as he leaves pit road, Dave. Ryan Blaney and Kevin Harvick have already been on and off of pit road. Now Denny Hamlin gives up that what became the lead for four tires and fuel this car operating very well denny was catching the 18 before this round of pit stops keep an eye on the top right of your screen here the 18 car kyle bush coming around turn three and four the 11 of denny hamlin on pit road that's the blend of what will eventually be the race for the lead once all this cycles through this is off turn two there's the 18, there's the 11 on the bottom of the racetrack. Kyle Busch will beat Denny Hamlin. That's how much that difference is. Kyle coming to pit road sooner, gets out on the racetrack with those new tires, pops off a lap. That's how much further it puts him ahead of that 11 car. It's impressive, man. That, that is, and Denny had a little bit faster pit stop than what Kyle had when we saw it. I think Kyle had a 10-4 and Denny had like a 9-8 a or something right in that range. Uh, so you see, just as you guys said, coming to pit road earlier, as we saw Suarez, as we saw Joey Logano, those guys, it gives you that extra lap, that extra lap and a half uh, to really close that gap or to stretch that lap. Great move by Kyle there. Check that, outside, inside. Bubba Wallace, that 45 car on the lead, he's coming to pit road as well. I should hand the lead over to Brad Kozolowski, unless he too comes to pit road in that six car. One of the toughest pit roads to get onto. Oh. Making green flag pit stops. We some, see some of the best in the business miss that entrance. Dave. So Bubba was getting a little coaching on turning down a little earlier on the exit off of two, and that helped. He was told the faster cars are doing that. That made his lap times better as well. So four tires of fuel here for Bubba Wallace. Now he waited longer than anyone to come to pit road. That's going to cost him a lot of time giving up that, you know, that lap time on the racetrack. Now the six of Keselowski still out on the racetrack. And you see on the left side of the screen, 31.99. Kyle Busch with newer tires, 30-13. You're giving up a ton of time on the racetrack sticking around out there. 